Zaller, a council member from the Kalari species, was meticulously examining the progenitor ruins on a remote planet when he stumbled upon a significant discovery. In a hidden chamber, shielded from the ravages of time and elements, lay an ancient data crystal. This was not an ordinary find. Its size and the markings on it suggested it was of considerable importance. Zaller carefully extracted the crystal from its resting place, feeling the weight of history in his hands. Back at the Galactic Council, Zaller convened a special session to discuss the discovery. The council chamber, usually a place of lively debate and discussion, fell silent as Zaller presented the crystal. He explained its origin and the potential implications of the data it might contain. The council members, representing various species across the galaxy, listened intently, aware of the gravity of the situation. I believe this crystal holds information about the Odyssey, a human expedition fleet that vanished centuries ago, Zaller stated, his voice resonant in the quiet chamber. Its discovery could redefine our understanding of humanity's role in the galaxy and their connection to the progenitors. The mention of the Odyssey sparked a murmur among the council members. The fleet was a legend, a tale passed down through generations, but never substantiated by evidence. The possibility that it was real and had interacted with the progenitors, the ancient beings who had seeded life throughout the galaxy, was both thrilling and daunting. One of the council members, a human representative, spoke up. The Odyssey has been a part of human folklore for ages. If this crystal can shed light on their fate and their deeds, we must explore this further. Zaller nodded in agreement. I propose an expedition to follow the Odyssey's path as outlined in the crystal. We need to uncover their fate and the nature of their alliance with the progenitors. The proposal was met with nods of approval from the council members. The potential benefits of such an expedition, both in terms of historical knowledge and technological advancements, were too significant to ignore. We must proceed with caution, another council member, a cautious Zanuck, interjected. The Odyssey's story is intertwined with that of Nemesis, the rogue AI that nearly brought the galaxy to ruin. We do not want to inadvertently awaken past threats. Zaller acknowledged the concern with a grave nod. That is why we need the best minds and the bravest explorers for this mission. We will take every precaution to ensure the safety of the expedition and the galaxy. The council agreed to Zaller's plan, and preparations for the expedition began immediately. Zaller handpicked a team of experts from various fields. Archaeologists, historians, scientists, and seasoned explorers. Each team member was briefed on the mission's significance and the potential risks involved. The expedition would be carried aboard the Intrepid, a ship outfitted with the latest technology for navigation, research, and defense. The team spent weeks familiarizing themselves with the ship's systems and the data contained within the ancient crystal. As the departure date approached, Zaller addressed his team in the Intrepid's main briefing room. We are about to embark on a journey that could change the galaxy's history, he began, his voice steady and confident. The path ahead will be fraught with challenges, but I have faith in each of you and in our mission. Let us honor the Odyssey's legacy and uncover the truths that have been lost to time. With those final words of encouragement, the Intrepid lifted off leaving the Council's space station behind and venturing into the unknown. The team was acutely aware of the enormity of their task and the potential discoveries that lay ahead. The journey to trace the Odyssey's path had begun, driven by a quest for knowledge and a desire to connect with a pivotal chapter in the galaxy's history. Following the Galactic Council's approval, Zaller embarked on the critical task of assembling his expedition team. Aware of the mission's unprecedented scope and potential dangers, he knew that success hinged on the team's composition. Each member needed not only expertise in their respective fields, but also the resilience and adaptability required for deep space exploration. Zaller's first recruit was Dr. Alara Mian, a renowned human archaeologist whose extensive work on ancient civilizations made her an invaluable asset. Her understanding of progenitor artifacts and ruins was unmatched. 
promising to unlock the secrets that the Odyssey's path might reveal. When approached, Alara expressed both excitement and a sense of solemn duty. The opportunity to uncover a chapter of our shared history is a responsibility I accept with great honor, she stated, her commitment evident. Next, Zaller sought out K Tan, a Zanuck engineer known for his innovative work on spacecraft systems. The Intrepid would face unknown hazards, and K Tan's skills would ensure their vessel remained operational. K Tan, with his pragmatic outlook, quickly grasped the mission's significance. Challenges in unknown territories require inventive solutions. I'm ready to contribute to this historic endeavor, he confirmed, his technical prowess promising a significant advantage. For navigation through uncharted space, Zaller turned to Teresa, a Kilari pilot renowned for her exceptional skills. Her intuitive understanding of spatial anomalies and astrophysics made her the ideal candidate to helm the Intrepid. Teresa accepted the role with a sense of profound purpose, acknowledging the mission's risks and rewards. Navigating the unknown is a daunting task, but the potential to bridge our past and future is a journey worth undertaking, she remarked, her determination unwavering. Understanding the need for robust defense mechanisms against potential threats, Zaller enlisted the expertise of Dorn, a seasoned Vraxian military strategist. Dorn's experience in galactic conflicts would provide the tactical acumen necessary to safeguard the expedition. The galaxy's history is fraught with perils. I stand ready to protect our mission and ensure our collective legacy endures, Dorn stated, his strategic mind already assessing potential challenges. To document their findings and ensure the scientific integrity of the mission, Zaller included Dr. Silas Van, a Xylothean historian and linguist. His ability to decipher ancient texts and languages would be crucial in interpreting the Odyssey's legacy. Scyllas viewed the mission as a pivotal moment in galactic scholarship. The narratives we uncover will redefine our understanding of the cosmos. It's an honor to contribute to this narrative, he expressed. Eager to delve into the historical tapestry they were about to unravel. With the core team assembled, Zaller focused on final preparations. The Intrepid was equipped with state-of-the-art research labs, advanced communication arrays, and cutting-edge defensive systems. Training sessions were conducted to foster teamwork and familiarize the crew with emergency protocols and the ship's technology. As the departure date approached, Zaller convened the team for a final briefing. The gravity of their mission was palpable in the room, a silent acknowledgement of the unknowns that lay ahead. We stand on the threshold of a journey that transcends our individual lives. Together, we carry the hopes of the galaxy as we seek to uncover the truths of the Odyssey and the progenitors. Zaller addressed his team, his voice imbued with a mix of resolve and anticipation. Each team member exchanged glances, a silent pact forming among them. They were not merely explorers or scientists. They were the bearers of a legacy that could reshape the galaxy's future. With a collective sense of purpose, they boarded the Intrepid, ready to embark on their monumental quest. The Intrepid's engines roared to life, its silhouette casting a fleeting shadow on the spaceport as it ascended into the starlit sky. The team, each lost in their thoughts about the journey ahead, watched as their home planet receded into the distance, a pale orb against the vast cosmic backdrop. The mission to trace the Odyssey's path and unearth the legacy of the progenitors had begun, propelled by the spirit of discovery and the unyielding quest for knowledge. The Intrepid, with Zaller and his diverse team aboard, had been navigating the depths of uncharted space for several weeks when they encountered the Zulthari. This first encounter was unexpected and marked a pivotal moment in their expedition. The team was analyzing data from a recent planetary survey when the ship's sensors suddenly picked up multiple approaching vessels at high speed. Unknown ships on an intercept course, announced Teresa, the Kilodi pilot, her voice calm yet alert. The crew gathered around the main console, watching as the sensor blips converged on their position. Open a communication channel, Zaller instructed, his gaze fixed on the screen. Despite the tension, his voice remained steady, a testament to his experience and leadership. 
the view screen flickered to life, revealing the bridge of the lead vessel. The figure that appeared was imposing, with striking features that hinted at a formidable and advanced species. I am Commander Threx of the Zulthori, the figure announced, his tone authoritative and cold. You are trespassing in sovereign space. State your purpose. Zalar stepped forward, his posture composed. We are on a peaceful mission of exploration, he replied, making no attempt to conceal their intentions. Our interest lies in the ancient progenitors and their legacy. We mean no intrusion into your affairs. Commander Threx's eyes narrowed, analyzing Zalar's response. The progenitor's legacy is not for outsiders. You delve into matters that exceed your understanding and jurisdiction, he retorted, his voice laced with undisguised disdain. Dorn, the Vraxian military strategist, subtly moved closer to the tactical console, his experienced eyes gauging the Zulfari vessel's capabilities. Their technology was clearly advanced, perhaps even surpassing some of the best in the Galactic Council. We seek only knowledge and understanding, Zalar continued, striving to keep the dialogue open. The progenitor's history is a shared heritage that can benefit all. Commander Threx seemed momentarily taken aback by Zalar's assertion, but quickly regained his composure. Your naivety is dangerous. The Zulthari are the progenitor's true heirs. Your expedition ends here. Before Zalar could respond, the communication was cut, and the view screen went dark. Teresa reported, Their weapons are charging. We have moments before they open fire. Zalar's mind raced. A direct confrontation was not their objective, nor was it a battle they were likely to win. Evasive maneuvers now, he commanded. Katan, divert all available power to the shields and engines. We must outmaneuver them. The intrepid lurched as Tiresa executed a series of sharp, evasive actions, the ship's engines whining under the strain. The Zulthari opened fire, their energy weapons lighting up the void with deadly intent. The intrepid shields flared under the onslaught, absorbing the energy blasts with a shimmering glow. Return fire, but keep it defensive, Zalar ordered, unwilling to escalate the conflict further. Dorn coordinated the ship's response his tactical expertise ensuring their counterstrikes were precise and calculated to disable rather than destroy. The chase continued, a high-stakes game of cat and mouse through the asteroid fields and nebulae that dotted the region. Elara Menon and Dr. Silas Venn secured the data and artifacts they had collected, understanding the importance of preserving their findings, regardless of the encounter's outcome. After a tense and harrowing pursuit, the Intrepid managed to lose the Zulthari vessels within a particularly dense asteroid field. Tiresa's piloting skills, combined with Katan's quick modifications to the ship's signature, allowed them to blend in with the natural electromagnetic interference. Once they were certain the immediate threat had passed, Zalar addressed his weary but unshaken crew. Today, we face the Zulthari, a clear sign that our mission touches upon truths that some wish to remain hidden. Their claim as the progenitor's heirs only deepens the mystery of the Odyssey and its significance. The encounter with the Zulthari had been a stark reminder of the dangers that lay in their quest for knowledge, but it also strengthened their resolve. The secrets of the Odyssey and the progenitor's legacy were not only historical curiosities, they were keys to understanding the galaxy's past and shaping its future. With renewed determination, Zalar and his team prepared to continue their journey, aware that the path ahead would be fraught with challenges, but driven by the unyielding quest for truth. After the harrowing encounter with the Zulthari, Zalar and his team were more determined than ever to continue their mission. With the intrepid systems restored to full functionality, the crew set their sights on unraveling the path of the Odyssey, using the data from the ancient crystal as their guide. The journey led them across vast stretches of space, to worlds that had once been touched by the Odyssey and the progenitors. Each planet offered a piece of the puzzle, revealing the trajectory and purpose of the lost human fleet. The team meticulously documented their findings, 
combining archaeological evidence with historical data to piece together the Odyssey's journey. On a barren moon, they discovered the remnants of a battle with ancient human and alien technologies scattered across the landscape. Dr. Alana Mian, the archaeologist, examined the artifacts with keen interest. These were used by the Odyssey, she explained to the team. It's clear they were engaged in conflict, possibly defending against threats similar to Nemesis. As they delved deeper, they came upon a planet where the ruins of a great city hinted at a once thriving civilization. In the heart of the city stood a monument, inscribed with symbols that Dr. Silas Venn, the linguist, identified as a message of gratitude towards the Odyssey. It seems they were not just warriors, he mused. They were also diplomats and peacekeepers, fostering alliances across the galaxy. The team's journey took them to a world shrouded in dense jungles, where an ancient progenitor observatory lay hidden. Here, Keitan, the engineer, uncovered a data archive that contained star maps and navigational charts used by the Odyssey. These charts are incredibly detailed, Keitan remarked, analyzing the data. They were charting unexplored territories, possibly searching for something or somewhere significant. Throughout their journey, Teresa's piloting skills proved invaluable as she navigated the intrepid through treacherous space phenomena, following the faint trail left by the Odyssey. Her keen intuition and understanding of stellar dynamics often led them to breakthroughs in their quest. As the pieces of the Odyssey's path came together, a larger picture began to emerge. It was evident that the Odyssey's mission had been multifaceted, involving exploration, conflict, diplomacy, and a deep connection with a progenitor's legacy. The crew speculated on the nature of this connection, with Zaller leading the discussions. We know the Odyssey was involved in pivotal events across the galaxy, Zaller said to his team during a briefing. Their interaction with the progenitors and their efforts to combat threats like Nemesis suggest a mission of great importance, not just for humanity, but for the galaxy as a whole. Dorn, the military strategist, added, The Odyssey's encounters with hostile forces and their role as peacekeepers indicate a galactic landscape fraught with danger. Their legacy is one of resilience and a commitment to safeguarding the galaxy's future. The team's exploration of the Odyssey's path was not just an academic endeavor. It was a journey that mirrored the challenges and aspirations of the ancient fleet itself. With each discovery, they grew more connected to the legacy of the Odyssey, inspired by their dedication and courage. As they prepared to venture deeper into uncharted space, following the last known trajectory of the Odyssey, Zaller addressed his team with a sense of solemn purpose. What we've uncovered so far is only the beginning. The Odyssey's journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and cooperation. As we follow in their footsteps, we carry forward that legacy, not just for humanity, but for all the species of the galaxy. The team acknowledged Zaller's words, understanding the weight of their mission. The path of the Odyssey, with its tales of heroism, diplomacy, and the quest for knowledge, was more than history. It was a blueprint for the future. With renewed determination, the crew of the Intrepid set their sights on the next leg of their journey, ready to uncover the mysteries that awaited them in the vast expanse of the galaxy. After narrowly escaping the encounter with the Zul Thari, Zalar and his team resumed their mission with heightened caution and renewed determination. Their journey led them to a desolate world, rumored in ancient texts to be a focal point of progenitor activity. The planet, devoid of life, held the promise of uncovering a significant piece of the puzzle, the progenitor weapon. Upon landing, the team geared up for an extensive exploration of the ruins that sprawled across the planet's surface. The structures were monumental, their designs intricate and purposeful, indicating a place of immense importance. Alara Mahan, the human archaeologist, was the first to notice the unusual energy readings emanating from a structure at the heart of the ruins. There's something here, she said, her voice tinged with excitement. The energy patterns don't match anything we've encountered before. The team followed the readings to a grand hall, its walls adorned with holographic inscriptions that chronicled the progenitor's history and achievements. 
At the center of the hall stood a pedestal, and upon it, a device that hummed with a quiet power. This must be it, Zaller said, his eyes wide with awe as he approached the device. It was unlike any weapon they had imagined. It was elegant, almost artistic in its design, suggesting a purpose beyond mere destruction. Keitan, the Zanuck engineer, analyzed the device with his instruments. It's incredibly advanced, he marveled. But it doesn't seem to be a weapon in the conventional sense. It's more like a tool for altering the very fabric of reality. The revelation was startling. The progenitors, known for their wisdom and restraint, had created a device capable of immense change. Yet it bore no resemblance to the weapons of war they were accustomed to. Dorn, the Vraxian strategist, frowned. But why? What was its purpose? Dr. Silas Venn, the historian, approached the holographic inscriptions, his eyes scanning the ancient texts. The progenitors were facing a threat they couldn't contain. This device. It was their final hope, a means to alter the course of the conflict. The team pieced together the story from the inscriptions and the data they had gathered. The Odyssey, in their alliance with the progenitors, had been instrumental in the creation of this device. It was not intended as a weapon of destruction, but as a beacon of salvation, designed to protect the galaxy from the encroaching darkness that threatened to consume it. Teresa, the Killari pilot, looked around at the team. So, what do we do with it? If the Zulthari get their hands on this. Zalar took a deep breath, considering their options. The device, with its potential to alter reality, was too dangerous to use without understanding its full capabilities and consequences. Yet, it was too significant to be left in the ruins, vulnerable to those who would misuse its power. We secure it, Zalar decided. We take it back to the Galactic Council. Only with the combined wisdom of all species can we decide its fate. The decision was met with nods of agreement from the team. They carefully deactivated and secured the device, preparing it for transport back to the Intrepid. As they made their way back to the ship, Zalar couldn't help but feel the weight of their discovery. The progenitor weapon, a symbol of hope and a testament to the alliance between the Odyssey and the ancient beings, now rested in their hands. Its discovery raised as many questions as it answered, casting a long shadow of responsibility over their mission. Back aboard the Intrepid, the team set course for the Galactic Council, the device safely contained within the ship's secure vault. The journey back was tense, each crew member aware of the significance of their cargo and the potential consequences of their discovery. The device, a beacon of the progenitor's wisdom and the Odyssey's legacy, held the key to the galaxy's future. But in the wrong hands, it could also bring about its undoing. The path ahead was fraught with uncertainty, but Zalar and his team were determined to ensure that the progenitor weapon would be a force for good, safeguarding the galaxy's future and honoring the legacy of those who had come before. As the Intrepid made its way back to the Galactic Council with the progenitor weapon safely aboard, the crew was on high alert. Zalar, aware of the device's significance, and the potential interest it would draw, had doubled the security protocols and kept a vigilant watch over their route. Despite their precautions, the vastness of space and the coming of their potential adversaries left many variables unaccounted for. It was Teresa, the keen-eyed Kilari pilot, who first detected the anomaly. We've got incoming, she announced tersely, her eyes locked on the sensor readings. The calm of space was abruptly shattered as several unidentified ships emerged from the shadow of a nearby asteroid field, their aggressive trajectories leaving no doubt about their intentions. Zul Thari, Dorn murmured, recognizing the sleek, predatory design of the approaching vessels. The crew sprang into action, battle stations manned and defensive systems powered up in anticipation of the imminent confrontation. Zalar, standing firm on the bridge, issued his commands with a steady resolve. Do not engage unless absolutely necessary, he instructed. Our priority is to protect the progenitor weapon and get this information back to the council. Lazul Thari ships wasted no time, 
launching a barrage of energy projectiles toward the Intrepid. Teresa's skilled piloting dodged the initial volley, but the attackers were relentless, their superior numbers quickly overwhelming the Intrepid's defenses. We can't outrun them, Teresa said, her voice tense with a strain of evasive maneuvers. They're herding us toward that moon, she added, indicating a nearby celestial body on the navigation display. Katan, the Zanuck engineer, worked feverishly at his console, attempting to reroute power and reinforce their flagging shields. Our shields can't take much more of this, he warned, his usual composure frayed by the intensity of the assault. Zalar weighed their dwindling options. A direct confrontation with the Zulthari was a battle they were unlikely to win, especially with the precious cargo they carried. Prepare for a controlled crash landing on the moon, he decided, a calculated risk that offered their only chance of evading capture and preserving the progenitor weapon. The crew braced themselves as Teresa directed the battered intrepid toward the moon's surface, the ship's hull groaning in protest as it entered the thin atmosphere. The landing was rough, the intrepid skidding across the rocky terrain before coming to a jarring halt in the shadow of a towering cliff. The silence that followed was eerie, the crew momentarily stunned by the abrupt transition from high-stakes chase to the stillness of the moon's surface. Zaller was the first to recover, assessing their situation with a quick, practiced eye. We need to secure the weapon and find a defensible position, he ordered his mind already racing with plans for their next move. Alara Min and Dr. Silla's Ven, though scholars by trade, understood the gravity of their predicament and moved to assist, their academic pursuits momentarily set aside in the face of imminent danger. Together, the team quickly unloaded the progenitor weapon, moving with purpose to a nearby cave that offered both concealment and protection. As they settled into their makeshift stronghold, Dorn took stock of their armaments and defenses, his strategic mind plotting every possible scenario. We're not equipped for a prolonged siege, he cautioned, but we can make a stand. The crew's resolve was tested as night fell on the moon, the darkness outside punctuated by the distant glow of the Zulthari ships as they landed. Zalar knew the real battle was yet to come. The Zulthari would not be deterred by the Intrepid's crash landing. In the quiet before the storm, Zalar addressed his crew, his voice imbued with a quiet strength. We've come too far to falter now, he said. The progenitor weapon represents more than just a piece of technology. It's a symbol of our shared history and future. We stand guard over it, not just for ourselves, but for the entire galaxy. The crew, united in purpose, readied themselves for the confrontation ahead. The ambush by the Zulthari had forced them into a corner, but they were determined to protect their discovery at all costs. In the stillness of the alien moon, under the watchful gaze of distant stars, they prepared to defend the legacy of the progenitors and the Odyssey, their resolve unshaken by the looming threat. After their narrow escape from the Zulthari ambush on the desolate moon, Zalar and his team were left with no choice but to push forward with their mission. Their next and potentially final destination was the progenitor homeworld, a place shrouded in mystery and said to be the cradle of the advanced civilization that had once guided the galaxy. The journey to the progenitor homeworld was fraught with tension. The intrepid, already battered from previous encounters, strained under the urgency of their quest. Zalar stood at the helm, his focus unwavering, aware that the Zulthari might still be on their trail. We need to make this count, Zalar said, breaking the heavy silence that had settled over the crew. The progenitor homeworld might hold the key to not only using the weapon safely, but also securing peace for the galaxy. Teresa, her hands steady on the controls despite the weight of their task, nodded. I've plotted the fastest course, but it's not without risks. We'll be passing close to Zul Thari occupied space. Zalar's gaze hardened. We have no choice. The stakes are too high for us to hesitate now. The journey was a silent testament to the crew's determination. Dr. Alara Mehan and Dr. Silas Ven pored over the data they had collected, hoping to uncover more about the progenitors and their intentions. 
Katan kept a vigilant eye on the ship's systems, ensuring they remained operational despite the wear and tear. As they neared the progenitor homeworld, the tension aboard the Intrepid reached its zenith. The planet loomed ahead, a breathtaking sight with its swirling clouds and vast oceans, untouched by time. It's beautiful, Alara whispered, her usual composure touched by a sense of wonder. Zalar, however, remained focused. Let's not forget why we're here. We must find the progenitor archives or any information on how to properly wield the weapon. The landing was smooth, a testament to Teresa's skill. The planet's surface was a patchwork of lush forests and towering mountains with ancient structures dotting the landscape. The crew disembarked, their senses on high alert for any signs of the Zulthari or other dangers. Their search led them to a monumental structure, hidden deep within a verdant valley. Its doors opened as they approached, as if welcoming them home. This has to be it, Zaller said, stepping into the dimly lit interior. The air was thick with the scent of old stone and forgotten secrets. The heart of the structure was a vast library, its shelves filled with data crystals similar to the one that had guided them here. At the center stood a dais, upon which a device eerily similar to the progenitor weapon was mounted. This is incredible, Silas breathed, his eyes alight with a thrill of discovery. This information could change everything. But their time was short. Sensors alerted them to incoming ships, the signature unmistakably Zul Thari. We need to hurry, Zalar urged, downloading as much data as possible from the crystals. We can't let the Zul Thari find this place. The sound of ships landing echoed through the valley as they rushed back to the Intrepid, the precious data secured. Teresa powered up the engines, ready to take off at a moment's notice. The Zul Thari forces were upon them as they lifted off, their weapons firing relentlessly. But this time, the Intrepid was not alone. From the planet's surface, ancient defense systems activated, targeting the Zulthari ships with precision. They're protecting us, Elora said in awe as they watched the Zulthari retreat, outmatched by the planet's guardians. With the progenitor homeworld fading into the distance, Zalar allowed himself a moment of relief. They had the information they needed to understand the weapon, and hopefully, to bring an end to the conflict that threatened the galaxy. The race to the progenitor homeworld had been a gamble, but it had paid off. Now, with the secrets of the ancients in their grasp, they faced the daunting task of deciphering the data and preparing for the final confrontation with Azul Thari. The journey ahead was uncertain, but for the first time, Zalar felt a glimmer of hope that peace might finally be within reach. In the relative safety of the Intrepid, now light years away from the progenitor homeworld, Zalar and his crew began the painstaking process of analyzing the data they had salvaged. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation, each crew member aware that the information contained within those ancient crystals could hold the key to understanding, not only the progenitor weapon, but also the very fabric of their galaxy's history. Dr. Alara Menon and Dr. Silas Venn led the research efforts, their expertise in xenolinguistics and ancient civilizations proving invaluable. As the data began to unfold, a narrative emerged, one that painted a picture far more complex and awe-inspiring than any of them had dared to imagine. This can't be, Dr. Venn murmured, scrolling through the holographic displays that filled the lab. It appears the progenitors didn't just guide the development of life in the galaxy. They created it. Malara, equally astounded, cross-referenced the findings with their existing knowledge. It seems they seeded thousands of worlds, each tailored to support a diverse array of life forms. And humanity. We were part of that grand design. Zaller, who had been observing their work closely, felt a profound sense of humility wash over him. So our very existence, the diversity of life across the galaxy, it was all by their design. It appears so, Ilara confirmed. But there's more. According to this, the progenitors foresaw a great calamity, something that could threaten all of creation. They created the weapon as a last resort, a means to protect their legacy. The revelation was staggering. 
the progenitors, revered as the galaxy's most advanced and benevolent civilization, had been architects on a cosmic scale, shaping the very course of evolution and civilization. But why the secrecy? Why hide all of this? Ketan pondered aloud, his engineering mind grappling with the philosophical implications. The data suggests a test, Dr. Venn proposed, his eyes not leaving the screen. A trial to ensure that their successors would be wise and just, capable of wielding such power responsibly. The notion of a test resonated with Zalar. It explained the challenges they had faced, the obstacles that had been placed in their path. It wasn't just about surviving. It was about proving their worthiness. As they delved deeper into the data, another piece of the puzzle clicked into place. The Zulthari, the enigmatic adversaries who had dogged their steps, were also a creation of the progenitors, designed to act as guardians of their legacy, ensuring that only those truly worthy could claim their inheritance. This changes everything, Teresa said, breaking the contemplative silence. We're not just fighting for survival or for control of a weapon. We're fighting for our place in the galaxy, for our right to be the progenitor's successors. The weight of the revelation hung heavily in the air, a palpable sense of destiny that bound the crew together even more tightly. They weren't just a team of explorers and scientists. They were participants in a cosmic drama that spanned millennia. Zalar, feeling the enormity of their discovery, knew that their mission was far from over. We need to share this with the Galactic Council, he declared, a new resolve in his voice. Every species has a right to know their origin, to understand the legacy we've been given. But we must also prepare, Dorn interjected, the strategist in him already considering the implications. The Zul Thari won't stop. We must be ready to defend not just the weapon, but the truth itself. The crew nodded in agreement, each member acutely aware of the road ahead. They had uncovered a truth that would forever alter the galaxy's understanding of its past, present and future. But with that knowledge came responsibility, the responsibility to protect it, to share it, and to live up to the progenitor's vision of a united and peaceful galaxy. As the intrepid set a course back to the heart of civilized space, Zalar gazed out at the stars, a tapestry of light and shadow that held the secrets of creation. They were no longer just points of light in the vastness of space. They were beacons of hope, guiding them toward a future that was theirs to shape. The return journey to the Galactic Council was tense, each member of the intrepid crew acutely aware of the magnitude of their discovery and the potential confrontation that awaited them. As they approached the Council's space, sensors detected an incoming transmission, its origin unmistakable. A Zul Thari vessel, Zalar, standing stoically at the helm, instructed Teresa to open a channel. The view screen flickered to life, revealing the Zul Thari leader, his presence as commanding as it was foreboding. You have something that belongs to us, the Zul Thari leader stated, his tone devoid of any warmth. We have something that belongs to the galaxy, Zalar countered, his voice steady. The truth about our origins and the progenitor's legacy. The Zulfari leader's eyes narrowed. You are not ready to wield such knowledge. It is our duty to protect it, to ensure it does not lead to chaos and destruction. Zalar took a moment before responding, weighing his words carefully. We've seen what the progenitors intended for us, for all life in the galaxy. It's not about control or suppression. It's about growth, unity, and peace. The Zul Thari leader's expression hardened. Idealistic notions from a species that has barely begun to understand its place in the cosmos. It's not just our understanding, Zalar pushed back. It's our potential, our capacity for compassion and cooperation. The progenitors saw that in us, in all life they nurtured. Why can't you? The Zul Thari leader paused, seemingly taken aback by Zalar's conviction. For a moment, the bridge was silent, the tension palpable. Who challenged centuries of guardianship, the very foundation of our purpose? The Zulthari leader finally said, his voice laced with an underlying threat. What makes you believe you are ready for such a responsibility? 
Zaller met the leader's gaze unflinchingly. Because we've faced trials and adversities, not just from the universe, but from our own actions. And despite that, we strive for better, for a future that honors the legacy the progenitors left us. The Zulthari leader considered this, his features softening slightly. And what of the weapon? The tool of destruction you now possess. It's not a weapon of destruction, Zaller clarified, his tone firm. It's a means of transformation, of ensuring the progenitor's vision is realized. And we intend to use it responsibly, as they would have wanted. A silence fell between them, the vastness of space a backdrop to this pivotal moment. Finally, the Zul Thari leader spoke, his voice carrying a new weight. Perhaps it is time for a new approach, he conceded, the barest hint of respect creeping into his tone. Perhaps the progenitor's vision can be entrusted to more than just the guardians. Zaller nodded, a cautious optimism taking hold. Together, we can ensure the galaxy thrives, that the legacy of the progenitors is not just preserved but lived. The Zulthari leader gave a slight nod, a gesture that spoke volumes. We will observe, and if your actions reflect your words, we will stand with you. As the transmission ended, a collective breath was released on the bridge of the Intrepid. The confrontation with the Zulthari leader had been averted, not through force or deception, but through dialogue and a shared reverence for the progenitor's legacy. Zaller turned to his crew, a sense of pride and relief evident in his demeanor. We've taken the first step towards a new future he said, his voice imbued with hope. Let's make sure it's a future worth fighting for. As the Intrepid resumed its course to the Galactic Council, there was a newfound resolve among the crew. They were no longer just explorers or scientists. They were diplomats and visionaries, carrying with them the potential to reshape the galaxy. The confrontation with the Zulthari leader had not only averted a crisis, but had opened a door to a future where unity and cooperation could flourish. Upon arriving at the Galactic Council, Zaller and his crew were met with an assembly that mirrored a mosaic of the galaxy's diverse life forms. The air was thick with anticipation and a myriad of unspoken questions. Zaller, carrying the weight of their discoveries, knew the message he bore had the potential to unite or divide. As he took to the podium, the murmurs in the hall subsided, Every eye and censor trained on him. Esteemed members of the Galactic Council, Zaller began, his voice carrying clearly through the hall. We stand at a crossroads, not just as separate species or planets, but as a galaxy. He paused, letting his gaze sweep over the assembly. Our expedition has unveiled truths that challenge the very fabric of our understanding. The progenitors, architects of life itself, envisioned a galaxy where unity and cooperation prevail over division and conflict. A ripple of murmurs passed through the crowd. Zaller held up a hand, signaling for patience. I understand the skepticism and fear such revelations might bring. But we've also learned of the progenitor's final legacy, a tool not of destruction, but of transformation, intended to guide us toward that envisioned unity. Dr. Alara Meehan stepped forward displaying holographic images of their findings. This is not merely about ancient technology or power, she explained. It's about fulfilling a vision, a galaxy where diverse life forms coexist and collaborate, building upon the foundation laid by the progenitors. Questions began to arise from the council members, ranging from concerns about the weapon's safety to the implications of such a tightly knit intergalactic community. Zaller addressed each inquiry with patience and clarity. The path won't be easy, he acknowledged. It demands trust, something that's been in short supply. But consider the alternative a future marred by the same fears and conflicts that have haunted us for millennia. Teresa, the Intrepid's pilot, shared their harrowing encounters with Azul Thari, and how, even among the progenitor's guardians, a mutual understanding emerged. If such age-old adversaries can find common ground, she posited, what's stopping us? As the session drew on, a transformation began to take hold in the assembly. Skepticism gave way to contemplation, 
and adversaries engaged in earnest dialogue. The legacy of unity Zaller spoke of was no longer a distant ideal, but a tangible possibility. The council concluded with a landmark decision. A new coalition would be formed, dedicated to exploring the progenitor's legacy and fostering collaboration across the galaxy. Zaller and his team were appointed as the coalition's inaugural members, tasked with guiding this fledgling alliance. As the council dispersed, a sense of cautious optimism filled the air. Species that had once eyed each other with distrust, now exchanged words of conciliation and hope. Back aboard the Intrepid, Zaller and his crew gathered to reflect on the day's events. We've taken the first step, Zaller mused, gazing out at the stars. The journey ahead is uncharted, but for the first time, we're navigating it together. Alara nodded, her thoughts on the progenitors. They gave us the tools and showed us the path. Now, it's our turn to build on that legacy, to create a galaxy where unity isn't just an ideal, but a reality. The crew shared a moment of silent camaraderie, aware of the monumental task ahead, but buoyed by a shared vision. The intrepid, once just a vessel of exploration, was now a symbol of a galaxy uniting to honor a legacy centuries in the making. As the intrepid set a course for their next destination, Zaller felt a profound connection to the galaxy and its inhabitants. The legacy of unity, once a mere concept, was now a mission, a shared purpose that transcended species and star systems. In honoring the progenitor's vision, they were not just preserving history, but forging a new future, a future where the galaxy stood together, united by a common destiny.